Hi, so welcome to another video. So this video is looking at the major product for a bromination reaction with a di-functional benzene group. So we have an alcohol and a methyl group that's attached to the benzene, and we're going to be adding bromine to it. So we need to think what positions are these groups going to attach? So remember we have our ortho, we have our meta, a little O here for you, little M, and in this position we've got our para, this one will be a meta, and this one would be an ortho. So if we look at this particular compound, we've got an alcohol and we've got a CH3. Now, alcohol, CH3 are both ortho para directing. So the alcohol is going to direct in the ortho and the para position. And the methyl is also going to um, direct in its ortho and para. So its ortho position will be where the meta is. And this will be the meta. And this would be the para. So there's a lot to think about in this question. Now, they both direct the same, but they've both got different ortho positions. So what we need to think about is which one is the strongest ortho para director. So, or which one is going to increase the reactivity of the reaction the greatest? OH has two lone pairs on that oxygen and it will actually influence that system of the benzene ring and the delocalized electrons more than the methyl that doesn't have any lone pairs attached to it. So the OH has the greater reactivity. So when we're looking at the major product, that OH would have the greater influence. So it would definitely put something into that brome, uh, that ortho position and that bromine, bromine will sit there. So, um, so that would be the major product. There would be also a combination of products. So you may get, uh, depending on how long and how much the reaction was left, you might get bromination occurring in all of the positions. But simply putting one bromine on there, it would occur in the ortho position to that alcohol. So thank you very much for watching this video. And remember, this is the reactivity table um, that we use in, in our subject, uh, biological and physical chemistry but um, yours might be slightly different. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.